Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the picnic basket. Now this one is a quite a popular make. I made this as part of my masterclass and from last year and I now have the die set to make the lid. Okay, so we're going to be using the loaf tin box die set. Now this makes a beautiful loaf tin. It's perfect for putting in mince pies and other cakes and things and decorating them for Christmas. You can do it for Mother's Day or birthdays and things like cream teas. You can fit four scones in there, full sized scones in there as well. So that is the loaf tin. And if you add the picnic basket additions, you can make that loaf tin into a picnic basket. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And we also have the basket weave a4 embossing folder so this is pretty big and i'm going to be doing some inking today to get that basket weave right in there and the papers i'm going to be using my new 12 by 12 grand day out paper pack okay so let's have a quick look at the die sets so this is the loaf tin so for today's project you need to cut one from plain cardstock and one from the patterned paper now if you want to you can add bows so this funny looking shape here like a pair of glasses with a funny nose that is going to make your bow and this is going to make the tails for the bow as well and then we have gift tags and other um, finishing touches as well so that is the loaf tin die set and here we also have the addition so this is what it's going to do the magic and turn it into a picnic basket so we have this section here this is a mat for the picnic box we have another one for this as well so you need to cut two of these and if you want to add a trellis detail you can do that too i do have an example here of what that looks like so you need to run both of those through together through your die cutting machine as well so for the loaf tin you are going to need something a4 um, for your die cutting machine i'm using the gemini today and again for the embossing folder as well that's a4 too so let's pop those aside okay just gonna grab all of my bits and bobs here so i have one from the plane one from the patterned i have the base made from the matching plane i have two of these I'm only going to emboss one of them so that's what's going to be embossed and this was just my example and I've got my mats here ready to go as well okay so let's do the fun bit first we're going to get some inking inking up first so I'm going to be using distressed ink in vintage photo and before I pop this in and before I emboss it it's important to fold your lines as well before you run it through you may have trouble finding the lines again after you've run it through an embossing folder okay so those have been reinforced so what we're going to do is add the ink to the raised side of the embossing folder so these this section here debosses they, those go in and these ones push in to emboss so that is the side I need to ink so I'm just going to wipe that over completely and then I'm going to place this down that way Okay, and then I'm going to run that through my machine. So as I'm using the Gemini, I just need to take out the middle bits of the sandwich. So I have the two plates here. I never cut on this plate. Oh, I say that I cut one by accident. That stays nice and flat. Okay, and then let's run that through. Okay, so that's embossed really nicely. Let's lift that up. And here we have the basket weave on the other side. Okay, I'm not done there. I'm going to ink this up again. A bit gloopy there. Do exactly the same on the lid. There we 
go and lift that up there we go so remember to give this a good wipe okay if you don't clean this up you will get some surprises next time you come to use your folder okay there we go I've got some on myself look it kind of looks like a henna a henna tattoo maybe I'll just put my whole hand on there see how it looks Okay. Fold everything down. And then these ones go upwards. Just like that. Actually, I think I'm going to have this. Yeah, I have done it the right way around. Okay. Right, so this is going to be our lining piece that's going to be folded inwards and this one here is going to be the outside piece. So let's fold everything again. If you prefer the, um, the ink to be on this side, you may wish to just add the ink to the other side of the, um, the embossing folder. Okay, so I'm going to have these in just like that. So I think I will have them on the inside like that. There we go. Because they are quite decorative and you will get to see them. So just add your glue here. On the sides. And if you don't have the embossing folder, you can just literally, that's come apart, you can just literally use a sponge with your distress ink, or I would prefer to use a brush. Okay, so pop the other one together with the pattern on the outside. Okay, so this here is going to fit inside there and we're going to glue that together. You will get a bit of overlap here, but it's all going to match with the lid as we put it on. And then just press that down. And you may have noticed the flaps I've put on the outsides because they're quite decorative. That is optional. You can pop them in on the inside if you wish to. Okay, so now we have our loaf tin ready to go. You can pop cakes in here, add, wrap them in cellophane and then tie a bow. It looks really, really cute. I will pop a photograph here of what that looks like. Okay, so let's move on to our mats now. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to, I forgot to run this through the embossing folder. I shall do that after this. So let's get our mats down now. So we're going to mat that. There we go. And then we have one for the centre. Okay, and I'm thinking this is going to look really pretty over the top. So I'm not decided whether I will put that on there. What do you guys think? Well, let me know in the comments if you prefer it with or without. I think this just finishes that off really nicely. So I think I might cut another one of those and pop that on. But in the meantime, I can get this on. So I'm going to do a dry run here just to show you what I'm going to do. So before when I did the masterclass 
I show people how to add the glue to either side and glue it in on the inside with the, outs the outside flaps on the outside but just to make it super easy and less fiddly I'm going to add glue just to the tabs here and have all of the tabs on the outside just to help us get this in the right place so pop it on and then push everything down and line everything up so that the left and right tabs, the ones on the end here, are perfectly lined up. And it's almost like you've just made a lid for this with the tabs on the outside, but all of these tabs are eventually going to go on the inside. So once you're happy with the position of that, just press in slightly and then lift up the flap there, and then you can just press those down. So it should look something like that. So I'm going to leave that to dry while I work on making another one of these and embossing that. Okay, so I'm just going to take my bone folder now just to give that handle a bit of a curve just like that and then I'm just going to add glue and then pop that on just making sure my handle stays upright and straight okay there we go so I'm gonna leave that just to dry for a few moments okay so this is now ready for you to turn the the flaps and those go on the inside just in there there we have our lovely picnic basket hamper. Ham hamper. Oh gosh, that has come off. Let's press that down again. Just make sure your glue dries properly before you try and carry it with the handle. Okay, so that is the picnic basket hamper using the loaf tin die set and the picnic basket additions. And again, if you want to finish off with a bow either side here, just there. We have the bow die set in there. Alternatively, you can just do a hand tied bow. I have one over here. You can just pop a lovely bow on there. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. And I'll see you again very soon.